Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. And I am absolutely at a loss with this story. So really do pay attention because I don't believe it. And I'm the one looking at the story and I'm about to tell you about it. And when I tell you about it, you won't believe it either. It is astonishing. Edinburgh City Council wanted to introduce random drink and drug tests for drivers of its lorries. So delivery lorries, bin lorries, uh, lorries when they go around and do gardening and things like flatbeds and things like that. If you drive a truck and you work for Edinburgh Council, they want to give you random drunk, uh, drug and, and drink tests. Yeah, good idea. I think absolutely fine idea. Think of the safety levels. You don't want people who are randomly drunk, randomly high, getting into a 40-ton bin lorry and peeling it around the streets of Edinburgh, crashing into cars, crashing into children. It's a bad idea, generally. And so, yes, I think anyone who is in any way sensible and sane would say, yes, random testing, bring them in. Computer says now, in you come, pee in a cup, whatever it is that you do, and you go about your day. Absolutely fine. Don't have a problem with that at all. Somebody does. Somebody, um, one particular group, are attempting to block this because they're saying, oh, but it's invasive. Who do we think this is, children? Well, you've already looked at the uh, thumbnail. It's the Greens. The Greens are trying to block the random testing of lorry drivers and truck drivers in Edinburgh Council because of its invasive nature. Well, I'm sorry if they want to feel invaded. But I think public safety trumps all that. And any party that's trying to block that is clearly wrong. Now, that's like saying, oh, well, we won't test you for drink driving. You know, you've been driving erratically, sir. We've pulled you over, but we're not going to test you, even though I can smell the stench of the whiskey on your breath, because we don't want to invade. You know, it's a bit invasive. What a load of absolute crap. What has taken hold within the Greens that they think this is in any way going to go down well with the public? I guarantee you have a survey. I'm going to be very generous and say three quarters of the British public would say it's a good idea. I think in reality, 99% of the British public would say it's a good idea. And now, an 11-year-old boy was killed. Um, by a bin lorry in Edinburgh. He was knocked off his bike. And it turned out that the driver was under the influence. Now, being under the influence of anything, drink or drugs, um, it's fine when you're in a safe environment, such as, say, a pub or your own home or some such. If someone does a, if someone does a, a, a smokes one or something on a Friday night, they're not going to work for forty eight hours, kind of thing. I'm not going to judge them. I like a drink myself, but you don't get into a forty ton bin lorry and then run children over and kill them and not expect consequences. And for the for the Greens to come out and say that it's unnecessary and invasive, to use their words is appalling. And I hope that everyone in Edinburgh who either has lost someone or had someone injured in a car crash or has children even will think next time there's an election about not voting for the Greens because the Greens want to basically legitimise drink driving and drug driving in council lorries in Edinburgh. I'm going to just end this video here by saying this. How dare they? Thank you very much.